Hi, ladies. Welcome. We're so excited to have everybody. If you're not muted yet, please mute. I love how big these are getting and how everybody's sharing these and branching this out to everyone. We are loving these lunch and learns. It's your mid pick me up, right? We all need that probably every week, I feel like. Um, we have our, someone said they hadn't seen the lunch and learn calendar. Um, you probably just know to get on here then. I post them. Um, Denise Kacharski has an amazing group on Boxer. I post on Top Directors. I post it and Mary Kay Go Give Facebook pages. Probably wherever you originally learned about these is probably where you'll see the graphic that has all the different dates. Um, they're not, I know some last week were like, where is it? I'm like, I'm sorry. And just so you know, next Wednesday, I am out of town. Um, I leave tonight on a red eye flight to Mexico for a getaway. And so I'm, I'm truly shutting off and not doing anything oh, come in. solid week. So I tell everybody there will be no lunch and learn next week. Just know that. Okay. But we'll pick back up the following week. Um, thank you for sharing it with all your friends and your sister sales directors and consultants. I think that's powerful. I think it's important that everybody has a place to go and ask questions and I don't know, have a place to build. So um, if you haven't seen the calendar, I don't, I don't know where everybody's looking to find out about this. So I don't know where to tell you to direct that. So, um, Sandy put in the chat and I'll answer that after I introduce Nancy, um, where you learned about it. And maybe I can help direct you to find the calendar. So we just don't have next week, mm -hmm. but we have the following one. So we'll be good. And I think that's all September, right? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. the following one. Yeah. Cause then it goes into October. So um, we'll have that and I'm working on October's guest speakers right now. And so I'll give you that agenda as soon as I have it, I promise. So welcome to our fabulous Lunch and Learn. We love these. We have the incredible Nancy Berlin on today. She is phenomenal. I know she's going to share a little bit about her. I We talked a little bit this past week and Nancy, I'm so excited one, a like minds. I love that. Mm -hmm. I had such a connection with you and I just appreciate you always having the Mary Kay go give heart, um, being not just an amazing consultant in this company, but a top director that does it the way Mary Kay Ash wanted it to be done. And I, I'm just so honored and privileged to have you on here speaking and sharing with everybody today. I know many are popping on because they know you're coming on. And so, um, when I chatted with Nancy, what she has lined up for you, I believe is what everyone needs. I really do. And, you know, sometimes <laughs> we're buying things and we were kind of talking about that. I'm like, yes, that's literally where I've been the last six months and what I've been doing and, you know, kind of going back to that. So I'm going to make you, if you're okay with that, do you mind if I spotlight you? Are you, I know. We're some, good. Okay. I know sure. some people know how to change it on their gallery view and that freaks them out if they only see their face. So I want you to be comfortable. And thank you again, sweet friend, for taking your time, having the go give heart and giving to all these women today. And I'm just going to let you take over. Well, it is my pleasure, Jennifer. And thank you for asking me. This is new to me. And I remember I've, I've seen a couple of them. But when I when I contacted Jennifer, I said, I don't know how much time I have. I have something burning on my heart, but I don't know if they'd be ready for it. She goes, hey, if they're in Mary Kay, they're ready for anything. So um, just to say thank you again, Jennifer, I am honored to be here today. Um, got, I've seen some of my really good friends on here as well. So hello to everybody. Um, just to give you just a snippet of history of my time with Mary Kay, um, I'm married to a preacher. We've been in ministry for many, many years, and we have three grown children. We have six beautiful grandchildren, and so many of you can relate when I say, remember that it was around for a long time that um, uh, bumper sticker that says, if I'd have known how fun grandkids would be, I would have had them first. Um, so that would be me. Uh, just kidding. But um, it's just we've been able to celebrate Mary Kay on so, so many different levels because of our Mary Kay. Well, 28 years ago, I joined Mary Kay kicking and screaming. Uh, I had been asked by my sister-in-law, some of you may know her, Kimby Bardick. Um, she lives in Georgia, and she asked, she had been asking me for 14 years to join her in Mary Kay, and I kept holding up the hand, talk to the hand, talk to the hand. I'm too busy. I can't do this. Um, I don't have time. 
the church takes up so much, you know, I made all those excuses and they were all exactly that. They were excuses. But when it came on a hot Wednesday night, you know how your kids are everything to you. And it came to a hot Wednesday night coming home from church. And I, we, our, our kids said, all of our friends are at Burger King. We want to stop and, and can you just drop us off and give us a little Coke money? I didn't even have money for Coke, much less hamburgers. And that, believe it or not, was my turning point. And so when we got home that night, I ran to, that's when the phones were con still connected to the wall. I ran upstairs, jumped on the bed, got on the phone and called my sister-in-law. This was 28 years ago. And I said, okay, Kimby, I'm ready. And of course, she hadn't heard from me in a while. And uh, she goes, ready for what? Because <laughs> she heard me say no so many times. So uh, I said, okay, well, I'm ready to try Mary Kay, but don't push me. Don't shove me. I'll just do it at my own, but I need to make a little extra money. And that was it. And she was on my doorstep 12 hours later, just about, it was a 12 hour drive for her uh, and did my first party. And I was hooked. I was hooked with the products. I was hooked with the lifestyle. I was hooked with the opportunity. I was hooked with what we could do for other people because, hey, we are in service, right? All of us. So. Yes, that was 28 years ago, and I made the choice to move in. Oh, let me just stop real quick. I know I can't hear you, but I want everybody to say the word choice. Got it. Choices. Life is all about choices. I made the choice to move forward into directorship, and within a year, became a sales director with Mary Kay. It was just a choice. I was able to make it happen because I had made the decision. I made a choice. So. What I want to share with you today, um, first of all, I'm going to warn you that you're going to be tempted to turn me off. You're going to be tempted to leave the, the, this Zoom call. You're going to be tempted to let this go in one ear out the, uh, out the other, but I pray that you will take it to heart. Don't stop taking notes till the very end. I promise you're going to be wowed, and I promise that what I have to share can change the whole complexion of your team or your unit, your year. It can definitely make the change. So I hope that you're interested now. I, everybody say choices again. Choices, yes, choices. Well, several years ago, I made two powerful choices that created major momentum in my unit, okay? So I'm gonna share, share them with you. Um, this company has been so, so good to me, and uh, I just have to say thank you, Mary Kay, for oh, the 13 pink Cadillacs, the trips around the world with my top director buddies, the 60 diamond, 60 carats and diamonds, but more than anything else, I'm thankful for being able to watch, to have the choice to watch my buddies achieve their dreams, to watch my unit members take on a new challenge and have them succeed. There's nothing, nothing like it. But again, it is all about choices. So, all right. So my first powerful choice, y'all ready? Everybody say choices. First powerful choice was to complete a power start every month for a full year. Mm. Yes, everybody wipe your brow and say, okay, tell me more. Yes. Uh, leading up to this choice, though, that was it was a moment as I watched a friend of mine, Patty, who crossed the stage and she was in the circle of excellence. And that year she earned the triple star and took her husband on his first, on their first top director trip. And I was so proud of her. And I was just so amazed that when she said, oh, yeah, girl, I did 12 power starts. And I was like, wow, that is so good. Great for you, Patty. So I was sharing it with my sister-in-law, who happens to be my recruiter, Kimby Bardick. And um, she, after I finished telling her about Patty and what Patty had done, and she said, she just casually glanced at me and she goes, why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? That rang in my ears. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was great for Patty. But I don't know. So I began in my mind to make every excuse in the world why I shouldn't 
and why I couldn't do a power start every month for 12 months. Yeah. And one of the reasons was, now this is really scary. You don't need to write this one down. <laughs> but this one was a big one because I had never in all my prior years of Mary Kay done one power start. So who was I to think that I could do 12 in a row? Well, how could I, how could I do 12 in a row? How could I do 12, right? But guess what? I remembered Mary Kay's words. She said, the definition of insanity, and y'all, I know you can quote it with me, doing the same things over and over, but expecting greater results. Hmm. I wanted to see more momentum in my unit. I wanted to see more excitement, but hmm, how was that going to happen? So guess what? I made the choice. I made the choice. I made up my mind to lead the way. What did Mary Kay say so often? The speed of the leader is the speed of the gang. What else did she say? How do you lead your group? By example, there's three ways. By example, by example, by example. So I began to lead with the power starts. Well, the months sailed by and I'm happy to report that I did achieve a power start every single month for that entire year. And was it worth it? Hmm, as Mary Kay would do. Let me see. That year we added 201 new team members in those 12 months, 27 of them were mine, my personal team members. So you ask, was it worth it? <laughs> yes. You see, power starts big, build big sellers and big stars. We ended that year with over 71 stars, 71 stars, and most of them were emeralds and pearls. So this year, my sister-in-law approached me again and said, you know, it's been a while since you've done 12 power starts. She said, can I offer you a prize and you do it again? Because we had been talking about momentum. What are we going to do? We've been under the rocks basically for a couple of years. How do, we, how do we get that momentum back? And I just looked at her and I immediately said, yes, I'm willing. I'm ready. Let's get started. She's doing it with me. Can be. She wanted to be on today, but she had another commitment. Um, but yes, yeah, so what has happened in July? I did 31 faces. A lot of them were FaceTime. My husband would go and deliver products for me and do, so deliver samples, and we would do a three way or we would do Zoom or Facebook. Um, I did 31 faces. I recruited two new personals, one became qualified right away. And my sales were over 1,600 in new sales. That's not in my customers. Again, in August, I completed my power start. 30 faces, two new team members, and one qualified. So I'm up to two qualified. So I'm almost on target for the Queen's Court of Sharing, which I haven't done since that year. My sales were over 1,700, and each month I was able to place at 1,800. I now know that I have 1,700 in uh, orders to do, I've already tracked it, to do to be in the Queen's Court of Sales for this year. So with new sales from the Power Starts and from my customers, it's a walk in the park when you commit to the choice of doing Power Start. A lot of my friends have said, okay, I want to do it. I said, pal up with a friend, have a, have a prayer partner and do it together and offer to give each other something at the end. I mean, this is really, really, really big. But again, it's all about choices. Um, July was, let me just tell you this, July was seminar. What, so was it easy getting ready for seminar, ending up the year? Not so much, but I did it because I'd made the choice. August, uh, a week in Mexico, Jennifer, <laughs> a week in Mexico that had been planned for months, a weekend in Utah with some top director buddies and nationals. And I didn't show it, but rotator cuff surgery <laughs> two weeks ago. But let me just tell you, this is not an option. This is a choice 
that I'm making. So that was my first powerful, powerful choice that I made that year. My second powerful choice, are you ready? What does Mary Kay say about working your business? Full circle, full circle, full circle, full circle. So my second powerful choice was to share, share, share the opportunity. Our mission is to give women hope, right? Yes. And we have the greatest of all opportunities for women now. Our, our, uh, while our country seems to be struggling a bit, uh, and they say 93% of the people, especially women, that have gone home to work during this time, they don't want to, 93% don't want to go back to the office. We can give them an option. This is our, the, and plus the three industries that never, that will always thrive during a recession or any time that uh, everything else in the country goes haywire. What are those three industries? Alcohol, tobacco, and cosmetics. Cosmetics. People are going to buy their lipstick before they go buy peanut butter. I can just guarantee you that. So, uh, and I love this too. We're in the right place at the right time. Mm -mm. Nobody can fire us. You know that. Nobody can fire us or lay us off. You could write your own commission check for this month right now. Today is only the eighth. What kind of commission check would you like to make this month? I heard someone say one time that we're not on, that we not only live in the land of opportunity, but we also have the opportunity of the land. Don't you believe it? Don't you know it? I, I, I always hear that it's the best kept secret of any opportunity. And it's never been more true than right now. So what would hold you back from this afternoon making calls to three, four, five, five of your customers and saying something like, you know, I have to apologize to you because, you know, that catches them off guard. I, I really need to apologize to you because it's been a long time since I've shared a little bit more about that, about our company. This may never be for you. You might know somebody that needs this opportunity, needs to make extra money. Do you have 10 minutes this afternoon or would tomorrow be better? And give her the choices, right? My good friend, Karen Riedel, who's a future national sales director, she is that close. She gave me, and we had a contest with this, um, and we did it every single month. Uh, and the question is, she said, just ask, ask, ask your friends. If I only had five minutes to answer your biggest question about my Mary Kay, what would it be? And we had a contest to see who could ask the most people. In fact, I think we're fixing to do that again um, because it's so powerful. And then it breaks the ice. And then after she asked that one question, say, any more questions? Because I'm putting your name in the drawing for $100 cash this month. Uh, who doesn't, doesn't need extra cash, gas money, right? Wow. One of our uh, sons, this has been several years ago, but he was a highly recruited a quarterback out of high school. And during the recruitment period, I was his secretary. He received so many packets from so many different uh, schools and inspirations from all the universities around the country. And one day a large package came out. And as I was opening it, the first piece of paper that dropped out, the first piece of paper that dropped out has changed my thought process forever, really. I'm not trying to be melodramatic, but truly it has influenced my whole family. In fact, that one piece of paper still hangs above my desk and I get to see it every, every day. And I want you to remember this as I close today. It simply says, we are not born winners. We are not born losers. We are born choosers. So will you take my challenge today to start that power start Print off a power start sheet and just pencil in the names of people that you know would help you out with your first power start. And then you can ink them back in when they have that makeover, that fall makeover, or update makeover, whatever. You know, you could be on stage next year as well. Queen's Court of Team Building, of Sharing, Queen's Court of Sales. But more than anything else, this right here, this challenge, simple as it is can totally 
rock your world, your team, your unit. So let's just make that choice, right? Oh my gosh, that was amazing, Nancy. I love that quote. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm sure there's so many that have questions or things they want to, I'm going to look in the chat real quick and make okay. sure I'm not missing, um, obviously all the love, just pouring your yes. way for all the kind things. Um, can mm -hmm. anyone put the script here? Sandy, do you mean the script that she had? Um, the script uh, from Karen Riddle. If I only had five minutes to answer your biggest question about my Mary Kay business, what would it be? I love that. That oh yeah. Well, like, what, the, what, one we where, the, the one yeah. where you were talking about calling somebody uh, this, calling people this afternoon and saying, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I want to apologize." Oh. Yes. Okay. So I use that. Um, I have to call and apologize to you because it so catches whoever you're calling for whatever reason. And so that is my, that's what I'm doing with my customers who've been with me a long time. And I'm just calling them and saying, I don't have this written down. Sorry. I'm just calling and saying, Hey, look, Mary, I need to call and apologize to you. We're in a tough time in this country and I'm loving what I do. And I, uh, I can't be fired or laid off. And I'm just calling some of my friends to let them know more about this opportunity because it's golden. It's the best kept secret in, in the country. And uh, this may never be for you, Mary, but you might know somebody that needs some extra cash right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just, then I just say, could do you have maybe 10 minutes this afternoon or would tomorrow evening be better? It just takes me about 10 minutes to share with you. Truly, you might know somebody that needs this. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Everybody you, Denise. That? Did, it, did you get that? Yeah, I want to make sure I don't. Oh, I love it, Denise. I love her. Brilliant presentation. I absolutely agree. And mm -hmm. I, I... When you hear, I don't know if all the rest of you feel like this, and we all we all know what to do. Sometimes I think we're overtrained mm -hmm. and just under motivated. We know what to do. There's no in yeah. this time, you know, when I really think about it, it's really simple. I mean, put this on, take it off, who doesn't feel good? I mean, yeah, it's just washing mm -hmm. some faces. And I think sometimes we get caught up in it. And I love how you brought it right back to simplicity and what Mary mm -hmm. Kay wanted us to do. And you know, we were chatting a little bit and she's like, I don't know if I get, I know consultants are on. I don't ever want to scare anybody. I know you're like, you know, I just want to make sure it's what everybody needs. And I'm like, listen, I think some of us underdo what I feel Mary Kay would have the expectation of and not to step on anybody's feet. But I mean, when women were side by side with her, they were mm -hmm. doing 10 party weeks and that was mm -hmm. what did it was not the exception oh my gosh let's you know celebrate that for a year because I did that I mean they did it day in and day out and I think you know what this is fun there's so many different ways to do this but when you say I might like, no I think we sometimes we sometimes we need our little toes stepped on and need to hear <laughs> just how it is and okay wake up we know what to do we just got to have confidence in what we're doing so Nancy thank you so much for your words your scripts oh, yeah. your time your kindness oh everyone I don't know if you can see the chat but yes, yes. I love that we're not born winners born losers we're born choosers and I I love that because I always tell when I always when I don't have to work I get to work yes yes I get to because if you just change that word, it makes a difference in your mentality too. Mm -hmm. One quick thing too, Jennifer, is to get to all of my people. There are so many different ideas on how to find those 30 faces. One of them is do princess parties at a local uh, assisted living. My mom is in assisted living. So I pampered all the staff and gave them a oh. gift just for coming and the, or I didn't expect any orders I just said I need to borrow your face and have a gift for you and I got 15 in one afternoon um, you can do that and we call them princess parties and pamper them and put take boas and crowns and they just have so much fun and and also um, I'm doing self-care Saturday where I'm just opening up my home we live on Cross Lake and I'm just opening up my home and every hour I'm inviting my customers to come in for a new fall makeover 
or to try skincare they haven't tried. And it takes 30 minutes, y'all. It's so fast. And so self-care Saturday, who doesn't need to take more care of themselves, especially if they're got kids and jobs and everything else. So I, I love that. And I, I love pampering. Uh, and it's just getting back to basics. I am so excited about my business this year. And it has been some time since I have had that feeling. So thank you for letting me share, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, friend. Does I, I think we answered all the questions on there. They have such kind words for you. Does anybody else have a question we did real quick before we go that we didn't answer or anything they want to say to Nancy to affirm her? If you want to unmute real quick, I always want to make sure I leave a little time for that. Faith put Princess Party. I love the name Princess Party. Give them all mm. bows and just love on them. I think women do yes. love on Mm -hmm. Hi, Nancy. This is Bernice. I just want to say thank you for that reminder about just going back to the power start. You know, it's so funny because we look for all these ideas and all these ways. <laughs> and it's like, it always comes back to that power start. And yep. I think it's great how you added the fact of not just doing a power start, but making a commitment and saying, hey, I'm going to do 12 of them. 12 mm -hmm. of them here and I know that it will make all the difference so just thanks for that just reminder to just <laughs> keep it simple <laughs> keep it simple sweetie then you know that was Mary Kay yeah and some months some months will be easy some months will not be so easy I remember when Thanksgiving rolled around and everybody my house was the hub and I'd only done I think four faces for the month of November and I just when everybody walked in I said Here's your ticket to come upstairs and get a free facial to all my family and cousins and everybody. So yeah, they helped me finish my power start that month. So you just, you have to be creative, but just know that that is your goal is to find those 30 women to pamper. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors. You don't know who needs your opportunity. You know what? Best kept secret in the world. And it's going to be a secret unless we share it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I hope everybody has an amazing Thursday and not next week. We won't be back here next week. Remember, sorry, I'm taking a week off and I promise I'm not taking any, I don't think I've ever actually done this, not taking anything with me. No, nothing. Everything's turned off. I am disconnecting for a solid Good week. For you. I know yes. and that's, if you know me, you know, that's really hard because I'm a people person. I guess I'm going to be relating with a lot of people in Mexico. I don't know, but <laughs> We will be back the following week. And then we're working on, if you haven't seen October, just don't worry. I'm working on the lineup. We're adjusting some dates and then I'll have that graphic too for all of you. So have an amazing week, friends. Bye, everybody. Bye.